Yo family, welcome to Talk Truth Tuesday. It's me, your boy Mario Evan, and today I want to talk about what I'll call crutching. And what you guys may know a crutch to be is that device that you use when you have a broken leg. It's either singly or used as a pair to help you when you probably broke have broken a lower limb. And I want to extract some important words from that, and those would be crutch, support when broken. And what you find about crutching is it can exist in many different forms. And usually, even though a crutch is used to transition you from a period of being broken to going back to normal, you would assume that you'd only use a crutch while you're broken and then you let go of your crutch when you reach the point where you're better again. But in psychology and in life, crutching often is when you are overly dependent on somebody. And I find that this can happen many, many, many times. And it doesn't always have to be in friendships. I want to tell you a little story about me and alcohol. So in Jamaica here, we party and we drink. We go soak a party, we drink, we go dance all, we go dance, we, we drink. I didn't realize how much of a drinking culture we had. Rephrase, I had. And I didn't realize how much alcohol was a crutch for me. And I'm not by any means calling myself an alcoholic. But if I went to a party, I would drink. Always sober enough to get home. But you get pretty tipsy. When I was tipsy, I would become another person. I would say things that I wouldn't necessarily remember saying. And people would tell me I told them things that I said. And I was like, me? Couldn't me say that. But the drink after work. Oh, God, I had a hard day. Let me have a drink. Oh, boy, it was a really rough exam. Let me have a drink. Boy, I'm going to say some bad news while I'm going to. I need to have a drink. But do you need have a drink you don't need to have a drink so january 4 i decided i was going to stop drinking mainly because i wanted to remove dead calories so that i can lose the weight and become a good body man so i stopped drinking alcohol and i gained the only time i drink alcohol is when i went to the worthy park rum tour and they had a welcome drink i had that that was in february and then i had a friend who had a birthday thing and i had a one drink and I may have had one other. In the space of almost two months, I've had literally three single drinks. Coming from drinking almost every weekend at a party, drinking during the week, drinking when I feel stressed out, drinking when I want to drink. Alcohol was a crutch is the point that I'm trying to make. And I decided that I wasn't going to crutch on it anymore. Let's move that away. And we have many other crutches that we use. You know what your crutch is. It could be cigarettes, it could be alcohol, it could be sex, it can be a person. Let's talk about crutching in friendship. Now, is this a friendship or a dependency? Hmm. What type of symbiosis is this? Is this mutualism or is this parasitism? Is this mutualism or is this predation? Are we helping each other out? Are you trying to kill me dead? Or are you trying to suck me dry? I don't have enough food to feed you or to fill your belly. If you're in a situation like that, I encourage you to get the hell out. And there are a lot of people who bring this energy. They're the self-absorbed, the narcissists who are all about themselves. Another time we we'll talk about them. People who love your energy, they love your skills, they want to use you and ask you for things all the time. They have no consideration for your time, for your effort. Once they get what they need to get, they are in and they are out. You need to set healthy boundaries for said people. You need to have a conversation with said people and let them know that said relationship will not progress unless said boundaries are upheld. And if said boundaries cannot be upheld, then this relationship will be no longer. You'll drop them, you'll leave them behind without apology. And this crutching is different from friends who help each other, who have reciprocity, who show each other love when they're having a hard time because when I'm having a good day, you're having a bad day. When you have a loss, I have a gain and I'm up and you're down. I'm going to help you when you're down and vice versa. And that's healthy friendship, not crutching. So wrap all of this up. If you're the crutcher, identify yourself. Pencil back, old time dance, I'll talk. Take five steps back. Stop crutching on people. If you're the crutchy, identify 
the weight that is being placed on your shoulders and relieve it. Start to take care of yourself and set some boundaries. And everybody who's listening to this right now, watching this right now, needs to go and listen to all 53 episodes of my podcast, Talk Truth with the Talk. <laughs> you see that? Talk Truth with Maria Evan. Just type it into any podcast player or go to talktruthja.com and pick the first episode to start with and then pick any other episode you feel moved to. And you subscribe to that podcast and you share it with a friend. I like to come here and talk about life on a Tuesday. This is Talk Truth Tuesday. See you next week. Be safe, be good, be strong, be good humans. Blessed love.